All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another MLP cast. It will be Mike LaPhoenix casting a game this time around, though. It's uh, it's actually interesting. It's between Crit from EG and Fear, who used to be an EG player. And I'll be just a second because I hear some background noise. I'll just remove that. All right, so we'll quickly go through them. So Fear will be playing the Alchemist, just so all you guys know. So Fear Darkness, that is actually EG's Fear. We have Disruptive Pilot, who's playing the Warlock. Abaddon will be played by Wu. We have the the Timbersaw, played by Nevermore, which is going to be relatively confusing. And we have Mad, playing the uh, playing the Earth Spirit. Meanwhile, on the Dire side, we have Ritsu himself, playing the Naga. We also have a Tinker being played by Zexy. Rubik, played by P, and P only. And Crit who is named Joe in this game, will be playing the Axe. And finally, we have the eth Ethical Shot Totems Test. Eth ethical, yeah, okay, I'm just going to, yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to call him Coddle for the sake of not getting not getting mixed up. And it looks like there's going to be a bit of rune contestion. See Warlock coming in, Wu's already there, and I think they're going to be able to snag this rune. Illuminate comes up, just blows up the shield. But there will be three runes going the way of the Radiant, unless, no, Crit tried to steal it, but no, he actually did. So Crit managed to get away with the steal as well, so it's two all. And the, yeah, the reason I've chosen to cast this replay is simply due to the fact that it's Crit versus Fear, and it's a pretty high level pub game. And we'll see what goes on here. Looks like Mad's actually caught out, and now almost goes onto the, onto the, uh, onto the cliff. Still copying a lot of damage. It's just unfortunate that the Coddle went for the Illuminate rather than the Mana Leak. See Fear, he's going to be up against Tinker in the mid. Should have an okay lane, but that laser is going to be really frustrating for him. And if Zexy can actually uh, just keep denying these creeps, he should be able to beat this Alchemist. But as we know, Alchemist in, in favor now, due to the fact that he can share Moon Shards as well as Ags now. So that just makes him even more, uh, even more popular. Looks like, uh, looks like Earth Spirit mad. He was in a bit of trouble, but just rolls out. Bot lane, we have, uh, we have Crit. I'm gonna call him Crit because that is Crit playing against the, uh, the Solo Nevermore because it is a, it is a tri lane top. In fact, I think there's some action up here. Woo, he's chasing Ritsu on the Naga, and they're gonna actually turn this around a bit. Mad, he's half HP, so he doesn't really want to do anything. And looks like he's just going to go and try and cancel that clarity, and he will do so. In fact, he'll do a bit of harass while he's there. Wu, he's very confident not to get taken out here. Obviously, we have seen the uh, the re-emergence re of Abaddon into the scene. Seems like the uh, the NA scene really like the Abaddon picks up, pickups for the offlane now. So, not too surprising to see an Abaddon pick. Got a very high win rate as well. We'll see how they go. So, it's a dual offlane. Looks like P is actually in a bit of trouble. It's now a dual, it's a dual bot as well now. Disruptive Pilot's actually come down to help out the Timbersaw. And Crit's actually, Crit's actually just creep skipping at the moment. And he's got real no contestion. And actually top lane, just missed it. But I wasn't expecting the Coddle to take out Mad Solo, but apparently he did. And actually mid lane Zexy, he's going for a bit of a kill now himself onto Fear. He's got the haste, but he's going to be so careful. There's a TP coming in. And they have vision onto him, Mad. He's going to go for the roll, misses it. And the haste is really keeping Zexy alive right now. And Fear can't really go for the kill. Because he'll just get killed off if he shows himself. Now he might get taken out here. He has a laser rocket available. But again, the trees. What a beautiful juke. And Mad goes for the kick. Now the laser comes out. So he's missing all these attacks. He rolls in. And Zexy, he's in big trouble here. He only has the rockets available. And Crit's there to help him out. Actually, they're going to back off. They're going to leave him be. And Crit... Proving to be too scary, no disruptive pilot. He wants to go for the kill. Now the call from Crit. And still going for it. And he's put the heal on as well. So Zexy should not know the shrine's there and the roll in from Mad, but not fast enough. And Mad will get to, well, he'll have to back off anyway. The rockets will be available. Now the laser is as well. That's a level two laser. And he will get it off. And that's a return kill. It's a very good return. I mean, Tinker just escaped death so many times in that in that minute instance. I really thought he was going to get taken down there, but... I mean, what can you do? And Wu, he's going to cop an Illuminate now. Still no Mana Leak available on Coddle, so he's gone for the two points in Chakra Magic. And that's absolutely fine, but... 
it's going to be hard to pick people off if you can't if you can't you know hold them in place for a while. So he's just going to make sure that Wu can't really farm in this lane, and Wu will actually back off back to the base, back to that fountain. See mid lane fear. He's not doing too badly for himself. Obviously, the uh, the last hits mean a lot more for an alchemist than anyone else in the game, and he's already got that bottle. Just wanting to hit that level 6 so he can really start accelerating with that farm. And Nevermore's pretty much got free farm right now. Because crit hasn't really been there to, to creep skip the whole time. And where is crit actually? There he is. So crit, he might come in for a core here. And he will do so. And there's going to be a bit of damage on Nevermore. That being said, Disruptive Pilot, he's here now. Uses the Fatal Bonds and the heal as well. And Joe, he's kept, I mean crit, he's copying a lot of damage here. And there's no chain available on, on Nevermore yet to actually keep going. And there's pings coming up. P wants to go for a play here. And I think Crit, he's going to turn around on this. He has the Tranquils available, so he will heal up in time. P's still there. Now Zex is there as well. They're going to find the Warlock. They're going to leave him be, and they want to get Nevermore instead. And they're going to be able to take him out, I think. They should have enough magical damage. And yeah, the laser was just enough. And they'll get an easy kill at bot lane. So they do take out the safe lane, the safe lane Timbersaw. Woo now, he's got the phase boots. Not farming too badly himself on the offlane. Got 22 last hits. Hasn't died yet. And obviously very hard to kill a, an Abaddon. And hence why they're so good in the offlane. Dealing her a lot of harass to Ritsu. Who really can't put up with that. With those hits coming out from Wu. Has to back off. Now crit. He was in a bit of trouble. But he'll back off as well. Oh, and I see some pings coming out. Looks like Ritsu wants to go for Wu. Who's on very low HP. But Mad's come in. And the Illuminate comes out, it does miss Mad, but they still can't find Wu, and he's just going to be able to back off there. Meanwhile, mid lane, looks like they're trying to back Fear off. And Fear, he, ha he does have that level 6 now, so he's not going to be too scared. In fact, he was going to go for a bit of a hit onto P, but not really close enough to get there. He has the Raindrops now as well to defuse some of that damage coming out from the Tinker. He'll, at the very least, he'll be able to block off the uh, the rocket damage. The laser is pure. And he seems to be getting some good last hits in mid. So, they really haven't been able to stop Fear from farming. That being said though, Ritsu isn't farming too badly himself. At the top of the last hits board, so... Oh, well, actually, Timbersaw just took over, but... Ritsu managing to keep up. The question will be, is Fear going to go this style of play now where he just gets like an armlet and then just starts rushing Ags and uh, Ags and Moon Shards for his team? Is that what we're going to see? That's what I'm interested in. Woo, he's uh, he's in a bit of trouble here. He uses the shield to get the mana leak off. Now he's actually going to start chasing the Coddle, but the ulti has been triggered. And he's probably going to feel a bit too unsafe to keep going, but now they're going to chase after him. P's got the vision. And Ethical, he'll get the mana, mana leak again. And he'll just stand there in place with the shield on... And once it wears off, he's just going to keep going, apparently. He's going to go back onto Ethical, now back off again. And P, he could be in danger here. That shield is going to do a lot of damage once it explodes onto him. And there it is. And P, he might actually get taken down. In fact, he will. And now Ritsu's here. The Mana Leak does its job, but... Wu's just going to stand there. He's not actually stunned up. Now he's stunned up, but... He'll be able to walk away from this, no problems. There's no real backup. And there's no net available on Ritsu to be able to hold him in place long enough to deal any damage. Nevermore still farming under the enemy's tier 1, in fact. And he's got to be careful. Dropped his item for a second. In fact, he might go down here. Zexy dealing a lot of damage. Now the axe comes in. So crit, he wants to go for a kill. Call barely misses. The slow from the chakra was just enough. And Zexy, they're going to keep chasing, but the heal is so much from Timbersaw. That imbalanced reactive armor. And he turns around again with the chakra. And still the laser wasn't enough. The rockets were just too high cooldown. And they couldn't wait any longer. And that's going to be a bit of a shame, but at the very least, they backed him off. Stopped that farm from occurring. But you can see that Timbersaw, maxed reactive armor. Hasn't even gone one in chain yet. So he really just wants to be able to sit there and soak in that farm. Not interested in, you know, trying to go for any... Like, he doesn't feel like he needs to go for any kind of chain to escape. The reactive armor will be enough. Now, Wu, he's going to cop him another mana leak, but this man isn't scared of anything. And look at the, the shield doesn't even it doesn't even explode from the uh, the level one illuminate. 
And he's going to start chasing again onto Ethical. And there is a TP coming in from P and he'll back off. He realizes he can't take it too much further, but... Very aggressive play from this Abaddon. Woo. Still farming. And they can't really do anything about it. He has his ulti up again. It's a very low cooldown. Only a minute. And at max level, it's 40 seconds. And he's just going to sit there and keep farming. No worries at all. Obviously, as well, they don't want to let the Tinker farm too much. Because once he has that Boots of Travel, Zexy, he's just going to be so annoying around the map. But like I said, my, my biggest intrigue here is to see... Whether this Alchemist goes for this new style of uh, Alchemist with the Moon Shards and, and the uh, Aghanims going out to his team. Crit, very confident himself. P's there in the background anyway. And I believe, yeah, Ritsu's there as well. I'm not sure what Ritsu's really doing around here. Looks like he may have been farming the jungle. He's got 2k in the bank. He's going to be going for a Radiance. And Fee, he cops the laser in the mid, but not really much going on there. Feels very safe with that ulti, with the, uh, with the, with the chemical rage. Has his armor now as well. Ritsu. Cops a bit of damage. P's here, looking for the lift attempt. P, though, is only level 5. Not level 6 yet, so he can't steal anything quite yet. Crit. He was, I mean, he's going for a vanguard first, not going for that blink dagger rush. Which I'm, sm which I'm sure is a smart thing to do. Woo, good shield timing. He's going to start chasing this Coddle again. And now he'll let him go. P, he did hit that level 6. Now he's got the whirl, uh, the, uh, the, yeah, the Whirling Death. This Timber Sword is so hard to kill off though. He's got the Raindrops. He's got max reactive armor. Woo, he's trying to back off here. And it's been cancelled now with the Mana Leak and the Blinding Light. And they will actually get a kill onto him. So he did overextend at the end of the day, giving about 350 gold away. And that's not what he wanted, but... It's a bit unfortunate, and in fact, the Radiant Courier died. I'm not sure where it was, but it, it got killed by a tower, so it may have been the Abaddon that did it. Possibly, but somebody ran the Courier into the tower. They're going to be able to take out this T1 at bot, so Timbersaw will get the last hit on the tower. P, he's got a level 1 Chakram now. Crit, he does have that, that full vanguard. Gonna be going for the blink next. Farming very well. We do see, we do have a boots of travel on Zexy now. Who actually cancels it apparently. But now he'll go back in. So now we're gonna see the constant march spam. And this is pretty standard for a tinker. Just start spamming the marches out. They've actually got a pretty cancerous team on both ends. But, I mean this team, oh actually blown up. The Coddle is from Nevermore. Didn't see the Timbersaw running in, but my goodness, did he get blown up so fast. Support against support at bot lane. Meanwhile, mid. We've got to keep an eye on Fear. We've got to see what he's trying to do here with the farm. He's going for a Radiance next, so it looks like he's going for the standard Alki build. And probably will eventually go for the Moon Shards and the Yags. And there's some decent carries of the Yags. Actually, pretty much everyone's a decent carry of the Yags. Like, it does benefit them in some sense. Tier 2 will be taken out. So, Radiant are getting some objectives. And Zexy will be able to stop that from now on, I'm sure. With the March Spam. But still, P, he's going after Disruptive with the Chakram. And Will's there to try and help out. And P will just actually TP out. But they drop the Golem. They're going to commit it. And the Sleep from Ritsu. And I think they're in big trouble here. Crit's here with the Call available. And he'll go into Disruptive. He goes for the Dunk, but it's too early. And they call the GG well played, in fact. And Earth Spirit, he'll get taken out. So the Dunk was good enough there. In fact, it was cancelled before by Crit. Now Disruptive. He's going to be the next target. The Rocker will take him out from Zexy. Woo, he's in trouble. No, he's not in trouble, actually. He's dealing a lot of damage. And he'll he'll manage to get a double kill for the Warlock. 
And so it's two for two. No, it's actually two for one. And good couple kills for the side of the Radiant. Who were getting engaged on. Crit, cancelling that dunk early. On the Warlock. Probably was a good idea. I think he was a bit over the health threshold. Yeah, eventually gets... Gets one, but... And I believe it was the Earth Spirit he dunked, but at the end of the day... Still, they lose two just for the Earth Spirit. Not what you wanted. And this Abaddon pick is paying off so much. See, Disruptive, he's gone for the Midas, which I've heard is apparently a terrible item, losing so many games these days. Some bad, bad stats coming out with the Midas pickers, so... Could be a sign. I haven't seen what the outcome of the game is, so I have no idea. Mad, he's going to find himself a, a Tinker, and they will chain in Chakram, and I think Zexy, he's 100% dead here. In fact, he is. Killing spree for Nevermore. And that's what you got to do with the Tinker. It's if you can if you can find any sort of pick off, the Tinker's the one you want to go for. And Earth Spirit, he'll pick up the uh, the Invis rune and he'll get a good little kill for himself. And slow down that pushing potential, slow down the farm and the levels as well. Blink in from crit and he'll go straight onto the warlock and warlock, he's 100% dead disruptive. Overextending, he was in a bad position. Now mad, he's in trouble himself. No, woo. They're actually chasing up the coddle. Chakram comes out from Nevermore. They get a return kill. Now crit, he comes back in, uses the uses the shrine as well. Wants to get some spins here, but nothing really coming out. Now the Chakram from P. And the dunk was there, but he wasn't in range. He'll still get the kill regardless. Woo's, woo keeps going, but he has the ulti available, so he's not really scared of anything. Now the call comes through. Did hit Timbersaw, but he chained away just in time. And looks like Nevermore wants to keep going. Chakram comes out. And I think that'll be the end of it. And in fact, it will be. And if I if I did see correctly, there is a Bloodstone available on Nevermore. Wu, he has a Helm of Dominate as well as the Phase Boots, so he's not farming too badly himself. As we did see, Disruptive, he did go for that Midas. Oh, Zexy, he's in big trouble here. Nevermore, he wants to go for a kill. And the TP is there, but can the damage come out? It will come out in time. In fact, they committed the, the Golem as well, just in case. Just in case they needed the mini stun. So another kill on the Tinker. Th this, is, this is a big deal. Every time they kill this Tinker, it just puts them so, be so behind. It looks like Crit, he wants to make something happen. And they won't engage. Just puts the Battle Hunger on the Timbersaw. Ritsu's been farming this whole time. In fact, he's very close to a Radiance. And he'll have that split pushing potential. So that's why I was kind of saying it's a very cancerous team on the side of the Dire. Because they've got a Tinker, great for defending and pushing. They've got a Coddle, great for defending. They've got a Naga, who's great for, for pushing. So it's going to be so hard for these lanes to be pushed out from the Radiant End. Unless they finish the game exceptionally fast. Which I don't think they will. The Roshan will be the target and they'll take it out. And the Aegis, apparently nobody wants to take it. And Nevermore will take it by default. See, Disruptive, he's actually going for an Aghanim Scepter. So that's his rush. I'm a bit surprised by that. Especially considering you could just leave it to the, to the late game and just let the uh, Alki get it for you. But he does opt to get that in, as a first item. So we'll see what he, how that goes for him. He steals up the chain this time. No chakram for him. Raindrops are being put into effect. In fact, they're all gone now. No, they're in his backpack at the moment. Look at Nevermore. He's just not scared whatsoever. He's literally standing at the T2, copping damage. And I see Crit. He sees fear and he'll back off. But now they know that Crit's that far behind as well. They're going to feel very safe to take out this T2 and back off. Zexy, he's trying to dish as much damage out as he can. And in fact, they're going on to Crit. And Crit, he's by himself at the moment. The Sleep comes out from Ritsu for the save. And Crit, he'll just TP away. In fact, all of them will as well. And that'll be a P. He's, he's stayed behind and he's he's chained away, actually. He's juking them around. The the, uh, the Raindrop's helping out as well. Oh, the stun. Just on the edge. Alki throws a stun out as well. The chain is cancelled and they'll get the kill onto P. No, the call comes out from Crit. And looks like Fear, he might be in trouble. No, they're going to keep chasing him. The Magnetize. And Zexy, he was pretty low. They're forced to use your Shrine. The March has come out as well. And I think that'll be it for the Radiant. The Radiant. Taking too much damage. 
They really can't push this any further. In fact, I hear Crit calling and he's found the Timbersaw Nevermore. He's going to try and back off here. The Battle Hunger is on him, slowing him down. But he does have the Aegis at the end of the day. And they just need one more rocket to kill him. But I don't think they can get in range. And Crit, he's still trying. The Battle Hunger again. Meanwhile, they were going for another kill. But there is a TP out and that was on fear. And Nevermore, he's just out healing the Battle Hunger anyway. And like I said, he has the Aegis regardless. So even if they kill him off. You've got to do it a second time. And P now is trying to find him as well. Zexy, he's throwing out the marches as much as he can. Try and get Fear off him, off the lane. And Fear will back off, but he'll go straight to the jungle. And that Radiance obviously going to start doing a lot of work. He has the Yasha as well as the Boots of Travel as well. Bot lane, looks like there's some trouble going on. P's being chased up by Wu. And Crit's there as well, but I don't think they feel very safe to go on the Abaddon. It's just too much of a tanky hero to go on. In, in fact, he has a blade mail now as well. And Zexy, he's going to try and TP out and he will do so in time. Oh, and Nevermore, he's going on to three at the moment. Coddle's there as well. The mana leak is being used and a lot of mana's been drained. P, he's in trouble. He'll get taken down. And that'll be the end of that. They're going to keep chasing, in fact. Crit's there. But he does have the blink. Uses the battle hunger and probably just blink out. Miss Call comes out as well. Now the chain. They're going to keep going. The Chakram. And Joe. I mean, Crit backs off. The Battle Hunger and the Mana Leak. Enough to stop Nevermore in his tracks. Now the Laser Rocket come out. Woo. His ult has been triggered. And the call beautifully done from Crit. And I think they're both dead here. Abaddon is dead. Now the Aegis expires from the Timbersaw. And Nevermore, he's by himself. Ritsu will be there with the net available if need be. Crit almost gets taken out here. Nevermore, he's in a bit of trouble. He's still going to get taken down. He suicides, in fact. Crit, he's still being chased up by Mad. Mad, he really wants to get this kill, but I think he's in danger here. And the Fatal Bonds comes out. Disrupt is here to try and help out kill Crit off. The Battle Hunger as well. And Crit's just going to TP out of here without the death, I don't think. Oh, the Chain Chakram comes out, but it wasn't just in time. And that'll be it. They'll have to let that go, I think. On oh, Zexy, he gets a kill on Disruptive. Where the hell is he? He has the Blink Dagger now. Getting very hard to keep up with these darn items because everyone's farming so fast. But he has the Blink Dagger. Got the kill onto Disruptive on the Warlock. And that's another. That's a good kill. This Tinker, as we saw, was behind a bit. Because he kept getting killed off, but... Now he's, he's catching up very fast. In fact, I believe he's going for a Dagon. And he's, he's uh, queued up five, the Dagon 5. So really wants to get that, that, uh, that burst coming out. Which is what they need against these... Uh, I mean, it's an Alchemist. It's a Timbersaw. You just need burst magical damage. Oh, it looks like there was a stun attempt from Fear. And he'll have to use it on one of Ritsu's Illusions. Who are being real painful because they have the Radiance. So now they're just going to push out all the lanes. As well as Sexy as well. And it's just going to make it so hard to make a push back. Especially when the team of the Radiant want to finish early. And with that Blink Dagger now on Zexy, he's not really going to be afraid of anything. Meanwhile, Crit, he finds himself mad. Mad kicks him away, then rolls out. But Ritsu's going to be there, and P actually's there with the lift as well. He calls the GG well played. Now Wu, he's going to make the chase. P will start TPing out straight away. Are they going to drop the Golem? No, they don't do it. The Rocket comes out from Zexy. Still dealing a lot of damage. Disrupt his half health right now. And I think they're just going to let this be. No, Zexy, he keeps going. He has the Blink available. And Wu, he's copying so much damage, but he has the ulti, and I think he's very confident to keep going. But Crit's there in the background, Invis right now. Oh, he misses the blink call. He did cancel the call in time, but... I mean, bit of a mistaken blink there, I think. And this game is so high-paced, they just want to keep going with the kills. I think just because they're part of the same kind of organization, they just want to, they just want to make each other feel the pain that they feel. Prove who's the better player. And it's going to be hard to say, but I suppose we'll find out at the end of this game. Nevermore. He's got a, he's got a Hood of Defiance now. Zexy, he's going to be back there. Trying to back this guy off. Oh, P. He's going to find himself. Fear lifts him up. Not sure if he can do too much more, but Ritsu's in the background there if need be. P, he's copping a lot of damage, and Fear will take him out. Now he'll start chasing Ritsu, who's just going to TP straight away. Realizes there's no point trying to fight this. Oh, and Zexy. 
good positioning there in the trees where they can't find him. And he keeps throwing those rockets out. And Mad loses half his HP because of it. And they keep coming. It looks like Nevermore trying to find him. And he did, but the TP was, was being channeled before he could get there. So it wasn't enough time. Oh, beautiful, beautiful call from Crit. He actually got Nevermore in that, I think. Disruptive Pilot, he's in big trouble. Drops the Golem, Zexy's on top of the hill. And there will be the sleep coming out from Naga. The Chakram, though, far enough. And we'll get the, uh, we'll get the Tinker. Now there is a dunk onto Disruptive. And Crit's in the middle of everything right now. Nevermore's gonna keep chasing, uses the call. The Shrine's there as well. And he'll keep going. He's going on to Mad right now. They will get the kill onto Crit. So another great kill for the Radiant. We'll have a look at the, the uh, net worth graph, and then we'll have a look at the team net worth in just a second. Obviously, we were expecting Fear to be at the top because it is an Alchemist. Nothing very surprising there, but behind him is the Naga. I mean, that being said, it's 11k behind, but like I said, it's an Alchemist. And it's being played by Fear, of all people. I mean, what do you really expect? Ritsu just gets back to farming. And I mean, this is just what he has to do. This is the Naga play. This is just what Nagas do. <laughs> they just keep farming. Until they just... Until their illusions are just all over the map. Making sure nobody... No creeps come in. Nevermore kills off Coddle. And now Crit, he, go, he gets the call off. And he won't really be able to do much to Nevermore. Who has a Lotus Orb now, apparently. Oh, Zexy, he's gonna cop a stun from the Alchemist. Sophie is gonna make the chase. Now the Acid Spray, and yeah, Zexy's 100% dead. Cops too much damage. And they're gonna keep chasing. P's gonna be the next target. He lifts him up, but the stun's there from Fear. He did steal the Chakram, but it's not gonna mean too much. And that'll be the end of that one. And they'll go for a tier 3, I think. In fact, the tier 2's still there, but it's almost down. Fear's still under the tier 3, applying that pressure with the Radiance. Now the, uh, now the Chemical Rage is gone, but he has an Octa in core. He has a Manta style. He's going for a Shivers Guards next. And get rid of that bottle, I think. So now the Chemical Rage is practically always going to be up. And I mean, once he's got that Shivers Guard, I'm pretty sure that's the point where he's going to start getting those Ags and the Moon Shards. And everyone's going to be, you know, happy as Larry. In fact, Ritsu, he's going for an Octa in core himself, which is fairly standard on Nagas. Not going to be going for that straight Manta right now. Just gets the Yasha. Offers that uh, that farming capability. Fear being very effective with those illusions. As expected, of course. And Naga being effective herself. Really not letting these creeps get to their towers. So there's no pushing capability available. And yeah, he is right. Ritsu is definitely correct. It's a cancer game. If there was a cancer game, this is it. Ritsu, he's very close to having that Octarine as well. Just needs that Mystic Staff. Just about 200 gold away. And this is just one of those games where we're just going to see people farming so freaking much. They're going to go for that second Roshan. Fear will be there as well. And it appears that the Radiant, they sh I think Crit's aware of what's happening, but at the end of the day, whether they can contest or not, I don't know if they, they actually can. In fact, they're not even going to try. And they might just give this to Nevermore again. In fact, they will. He's got 17 Bloodstone charges now. Woo. Actually picked up a Vladmiz as well, just to help out his team with that, that aura. Oh, it looks like they found Zexy again. The Magnetize comes out. Mad was copying too much damage and Ritsu's there now and they want to keep going for a kill. The Silence out onto Ritsu, but he's just going to be able to right-click his way to get in this kill. Mad's not going to be able to outrun that Radiance. Crit. He'll be going for an Aghanim Scepter himself. Trying to keep up with all these items. In fact, Ritsu, he was getting chased up, but there's a sleep. And that'll be the end of that one. 
because the Naga has the Octarine Core, it's only a 45 second Song of the Siren that we're going to be seeing. Oh, they actually found Disruptive. He may have been just trying to place wards, but he gets dunked by Crit now. Oh, and they're going to keep going. Fear's there as well, and they're going to P now with the Acid Spray, and P, he's definitely dead. He goes for a Midas as well now. What is with all the darn Midas's coming out? Maybe they just realize how long this game is going to last, and they're just like, well, better grab that Midas. Better get that farm, because it looks like everyone's just going to be 6 slotted by the end of this game. So the Ags is up, onto crit. Coddle, trying to get an Ags himself. Oh, there's a stun coming out from Fear, trying to find Zexy, but will stun himself. The Acid Spray is there, but Zexy should just be able to TP out of this. And he'll use the Blink and get out. Ritsu, he'll find himself mad, but mad rolls and TPs away. No, in fact, he doesn't TP. The Song of the Siren comes out, but it's too far away. And mad, he's trying to run for his darn life here. And he will manage to get out there safely. You can see Tinker did manage to get that level 1 Dagon. In fact, he's not going for the level 5. He'll be going for an Aether Lens, I think it is, yeah. And it might be even more effective if he just goes for the Aghanims as well. That Bouncing Laser would help quite a lot. And the added rockets that would come out. Nevermore taking the front lines. Copying all that damage. Now lifted up and the Mana League comes out. But it goes straight back onto Coddle because of the Lotus Orb. And crits there as well. And oh there's the core but it misses. And that'll be the end of that. And Nevermore turns around for a cheeky Chakram and backs off again. It's going to be a very, very hard push considering there's a Tinker and Coddle there. And the Naga will be sending those illusions out to make sure the creeps don't come any closer. And you can see they're really trying to focus these illusions. And they will do so, but... At the end of the day, they're still not getting the, eject the objective that they wanted. Interestingly enough, Crit, the rest of the team, they come back. P, he's going to find himself around a lot of heroes here, and he's dead. I'm not sure what he was doing. Probably trying to ward, but... Bit of, bit of an overextension from him. Bad positioning, and just gets taken out. Now, there's only, there's only Ethical that's defending this tower. And Ritsu will come and TP and actually crits there as well now. And they're going to woo. The call's there. Golem gets dropped from Disruptive. Who's going to die here from Ritsu if he's not careful. And the Golem start hitting up on Ritsu now. But he should have the song available. The illusions come out. And there's the song. So now everything will just reset. But they do have the Golems available to start pushing this tower if need be. But Zexy's here. And he's going to start those marches coming. Fear, he's got the stun channeling up. Throws it out. Hits crit. Nevermore with the Chakrams as well. The Mana League comes out. Now the Blinding Light. Trying their hardest to defend this defend this base. And they're doing a pretty darn good job. Only half damage done to the tier 3 right now. And here come the Marchers again. This is going to be so hard to push down. Woo, the ultimate is triggered. Tier 3 almost down now, but the Illuminates as well. And I, I think they'll be able to get the tier 3, but I'm not sure how much further they can go. Nevermore, got to be careful not to get called up here by crit. And the tier 3 is so close to going down. In fact, they're going for a deny. No, they won't. So there's a tier 3. Are they going to keep pushing though? At the end of the day, no matter how many illuminates are marching the machines they throw out, it's not doing too much. And the core comes out. Now Ritsu's here. And woo, another ultimate triggered. There is a route onto Nevermore. The marches again. Ritsu's in the middle of all of it. They're waiting on Crit to make a big call. He calls onto Wu. They really want to take out this Abaddon first. Nevermore's quite low himself. They do manage to take out the Abaddon, but Crit goes down. Nevermore's still walking out of here. Fear. He's man fighting Ritsu at the moment, but he's got no mana left. And now he's in trouble, I think. Zexy's going to not let, let him go. And he does get the kill onto the Alchemist, who had no chemical rage. And that is a dominating streak given the way of the Tinker. And that'd be it. I mean, they lost a tier 3, but that still would be considered a successful base defense. And Zexy, he comes straight into the mid to start pushing out those creeps. And let his creeps push that tier 2. So trying to make what they can out of, a, out of the best situation they could get. We'll have a look at that team net worth graph. And it is at 20k right now in the way of the Radiant. But it's to be expected with an Alchemist.
XB about the same. So doing pretty well, the Radiant. In fact, what's Fear going for now? Yeah, so the Aghanims are going to start coming out. He's six slotted at the moment. Has he given anyone Aghanims yet? The Warlock already bought one. He did give the Abaddon one. So Abaddon, what? Increased duration and all the damage taken by allied heroes will be redirected to Abaddon while that ult is going. So that's pretty darn good. That's why they want to focus him instead of the rest of the team. And it looks like Abaddon's the only one that's got it so far. Top lane, never more. He's going to find himself Tinker, but no quick blink away. And Zexy will be able to get out of that one. Has got the Aether Lens now on Zexy. Going to be going for the Agony Scepter next. Those, those are the added rockets and the bouncing lasers really going to help Zexy out. I mean, the, the blind is, is good, is just great. The four rockets just really helps in negating, negating the push. And of course, the march is great as well, but that doesn't really get affected by Aghanims. Or Wu. He's going to find himself P. He's invis at the moment. And P will just Midas that creep. In fact, P's trying to go for an Aghanims. He's almost there. Interesting that he goes for an Aghanim rush, and he had the Chemical Rage, so he'll use it and just back off from Wu. He will not consist with the chase. Probably because the Chemical Rage... Our Chemical Rage Rubik is still Chemical Rage Rubik. And the defense carries on. The thing is, it's, it's just funny to see so many kills come out at one instance, then they go back to farming for about 10-15 minutes. And now they'll... And then they'll eventually go back to just killing each other. Alki throws throws in those Manta Illusions. Just going to start doing that bit of chip damage to the uh, to the Raindrax. Really does nothing. But, I, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a bit. Now Crit jumps in, gets Wu with the call. Ritsu's there as well, the Mana Leak, but it's affected Ethical himself. And there's a lot of damage coming on to Wu, but now the ultimate's triggered. And they could go for a kill him now, but Zexia, he's been, mana he's been magnetized up. And it starts bouncing, but he's going to be okay, I think. Meanwhile, at the racks, the golems have dropped. Ritsu's in a bit of trouble. It has a song available if need be. And they will manage to get the racks here. J Crit, he jumps in, gets two with the call. Wu, he gets taken out. That's a big deal. Crit, all oh, misses the dunk, but the song's going to save him. And I think he wants to keep going here. V had the BKB, but has no chemical rage left. And Disruptive did also go down in the back lines. Aki. Fear, he's left alone, and even though he's got a chemical rage, I think he, he might be able to just... I think he might be able to escape, but it looks like he's going to die. He goes for Ritsu, but the Manta dodge just enough. Crit, he's man fighting now, and it's 4 versus 1, and Timbersaw actually goes down in the background against Zexy, and now they take out Fear. Ethical, he's about to die, he has to back off, and the dunk's there from Crit just in time. And that was practically a full team wipe, apart from Mad, who managed to get away from that situation. But that was a massive win for the Dyer. And I mean, when you've got an Alchemist who's only 4k net worth ahead of the Naga, that's that's really uh, not what you want to see out of an Alchemist. And they start pushing straight back, but the push is just so slow from the side of the die because they don't want to be too aggressive. They're really playing the rat kind of game at the moment. They just need to be able to win some massive kind of team fight and then have no buybacks available on the opposing team to be able to get some be able to get a rax or two. They found Wu though. Crit's there. Wants to go for the call. Blink's available. He's going to go for more than one. He'll go into Disruptive, in fact. And Disruptive has no Golems available anyway, but they want to take him out. And it looks like he'll have the Dunk available soon, but he's healing himself up. Woo. He triggers the ultimate, which basically negates all of that damage. The Song comes out from Ritsu, who's going to TP straight out of there. And he'll just leave a couple of illusions and back off. And they decide that's going to be it. Not, not too much more they can do in this instance. Just not enough damage coming out from the side of the Radiant. Heart of Thras coming soon on the Naga. He's pretty much six slotted apart from that heart that needs to be finished. Crit. 
Found himself never more, but not in range to make the blink call attempt. And in fact, the Zexy, he is going for the Dagon 5. So decides doesn't want the Aghanim Scepter, rather go for the Dagon. Interesting. And they found Mad, and I think Mad, he's rolling away, but he may be dead here. Zexy's going to be able to keep chasing. In fact, Crit's there as well. And there's the Dagon, paying off. They get a kill on the support of the Spirit. Meanwhile, mid lane, P, he finds Wu. The stun's coming in from Fear, but he's going to stun himself. The shield's there anyway, though, so no damage dealt. Not a big deal. They're not going to be able to chase up onto it. Zexy, he might get caught out here if he's not careful. He can't blink away now. And Coddle's being chased up from fear. And Zexy's trying to TP out, but there's the Golem stun. And the song comes out from Ritsu to try and help Zexy out. And Zexy starts TPing. Meanwhile, fear is still going onto the Coddle. And he should be able to get the kill, and he does. So Ethical will get taken out. And Tinker did actually get taken out as well, so he didn't manage to TP out. I was sitting there going, oh yeah, he TP it out, but apparently not. My goodness. What am I watching this game? What, a, what did I just see? And they're going to go for that top top melee racks that they couldn't get last time. They're going to try and force this Tinker to buy back. Or oh, there's a stun out onto Ritsu. The evade is paying off and he's got the song available just now again. And that backdoor protection is making it hard for them to push that, that melee racks. But now it's gone. Nevermore, he's almost out of mana. Good call from Crit, but the golems are down. In fact, it was actually stolen from P. And they're going on to Fear, but Fear, he's shelling up the stun and healing up so fast. Now they're trying to go on to Ritsu in the background. Beautiful call from Crit, who gets a dunk onto Disruptive. Now Wu, he's the target. Fear, meanwhile, he's taking up the back lines of the Dire. And Crit's the one taking up the front lines of the Radiant. Nevermore's now trying to chase Crit, but the, the shrine's there. Ritsu's still alive. Fear, where the hell did he go? He's just walking around the base now. And still they managed to hold the, the racks without Tinker. Now Tinker's here and they're going to start the chase off the Nevermore. And here come the Dagons. And the Lotus Orb is there. In fact, Mad comes in. He's going to take out the Tinker. He does solo. And Nevermore, he's still managing to back off here. The Magnetize paying off for the for Mad on the Earth Spirit. The chain away. Crit's not able to blink. There's a roll in from Mad. And now he's going to try and walk off. But Ritsu takes care of it. So he does end up getting taken down. Meanwhile, Fear, he's putting his illusions in the uh, at the tier 3 mid. Trying to push that a bit. And that is almost down, pretty much. But still, no racks. Only one range racks taken, which really means nothing. And the game will continue. In fact, we'll have a quick look to see what the items are at the moment. Because uh, this game's been... The farm just is going crazy at the moment. And these guys fight like, like nothing else. And as I, as I was about to check, Crit's actually trying to make a play onto Fear, who's now turning around onto him. Throws a stun out in the Acid Spray. Now the Shivers Guard, and I think Crit's in a bit of trouble here. He's copping a lot of damage from that, that Radiance. And he's going to turn around, makes the call happen. Meanwhile, in the background's Ritsu. He's going to take out Disruptive on the Warlock. So Disruptive is gone down. Now the BKB comes out from Crit. Ritsu, he cops the stun from Fear. And Fear's going to keep trying to man fight this, but he's surrounded by four heroes. P, he's getting taken out of the background by Nevermore. Nevermore's trying to help out Fear. And Ritsu, he's still there, evading a lot of this damage. He has a song available if need be, and he'll use it now. And he's still stunned up. He'll just TP out calmly, and he'll be fine. Meanwhile, the rest of the die they've been left to their deaths. They're trying to help out. Now Rubik, I think P, he's dead. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get away from this. And he will get taken out at the end of the day, but... That's still definitely worth it in comparison to uh, your Ru your Tinker and your Ritsu, who could have got taken down. Ritsu, he sees never more TPing. He could go for the net, but chooses not to. Now Mad. He will see quite a few heroes there. The question is, do they see him? Yes, they do. There was an Observer Ward there. And Joe, I mean, Crit, will make the dunk. Got to stop calling him Joe, but he calls himself Joe in the damn game, which makes it really hard. Wu finds Zexy. But he will just TP away. Now, as I was saying, we're going to go through these items quickly before they keep they start going again. Refresher now up on Disruptive. We did see the Agonims before. Woo, well, he hasn't got anything too new. Nothing apart from that Vladimir's. That was the latest thing we saw. And the Agonims from Alki. See a Hex now and Nevermore. He bought his own Agonims. That's interesting. 
Alchemist. Got 6k in the bank. Hasn't bought anything else quite yet. Earth Spirit, nothing new, just a blink dagger. Zexy, he's uh, he's just been leveling up that Dagon. Now it's level 5 and he's decided he's going to go for that Aghanim Scepter. Crit, the, uh, the newest thing we saw was that BKB. And it looks like he might even be going for a Dagon himself. In fact, he is. And finally, Coral. We saw that Aghanim before. He's just got the other uh, 4 staff now and a gem. Not even sure if he bought the gem, but he's definitely got one at the very least. And there's just, there's just illusions everywhere. There's just illusions everywhere you look. And Rich is just being so frustrating. So much farm coming in, mind you. He's almost equal in terms of net worth with the, uh, with the Alki. So keeping up with the old man... And he's pretty much 6 slotted now. Just got to start holding on to that gold. And, uh, I mean, look, he can, you know, he can put some, some items into his backpack. You know, if he really wanted to, could get like a refresher or something. Just to be able to spam the song, but it's already low cooldown enough. And Wu, he's going to find himself Naga, who in fact found him. Now the root comes out of the Dagon, dealing so much damage. He has the ulti available, and they will trigger it, but the sleep is there. And they really want to get this kill into a baton. Oh, but the rest of the team's there. The Dagon comes out too early. Now the Golem dropped onto two. And it looks like P will be the first one to get taken out. No, it was Crit that gets taken out first. And Zexy also gets taken out. Now Disruptive. He's still going. And he's trying to back off here. Fear, he's chasing Ritsu. And meanwhile, there is a Rubik that went down. And Ritsu's the one of the only ones left. Coddle, I think he's... Yeah, he's still trying to survive through this. Four staffs up. And he will get taken down by Mad. They won't, they'll be able to chase him. We'll see if Fear's manage going to be able to take out Ritsu, though. And they could cut him off. They could go through this path here. In fact, Fear, he's just going to keep chasing. Now the Shiver's Guard. There is a song available, I think. Yeah, it's up again. So he can just song, and I think that's why the rest of the team has just decided to, not to try and pursue. Because they realize they can't really do anything about it. And the kick was there from Mad, but not in time, unfortunately. See Ritsu, he TPs straight to the bot lane, starts getting that lane pushed out again. And the tier 3 did end up going down. They're going to go for the racks, the melee racks at top. And Crit tries to come in, makes the call, but... Oh, actually, woo! He gets taken out. I thought he had the ulti available, but it didn't happen. Now the golems come down. There was a refresher available and disruptive, as we saw. Ritsu's in big trouble. He's copying a lot of damage. Has no song available at the moment. Gets forced after way. Crit, he's trying his best to hold this off. And Ritsu, he will survive through all this. Meanwhile, Nevermore, he's stuck in the base because of that mana leak. Now we'll chain out. And that'll be the end of that. Oh, actually, no. Crit's still going. And the Battle Hunger comes out. Now the Blinding Light. And, and actually, Nevermore, he's out of mana. He's been stunned up. He tries to TP out of this. And the song comes out to stop him. They really want to get this kill. And the XD from Nevermore, who should be dead. But it is a Timbersaw after all. Meanwhile, Disruptive. Looks like he took out the Range Racks at mid. They do get, they do force Nevermore to deny himself. And the Range Racks at mid did also get taken out. So, at the end of the day, Disruptive, he managed to get something out of that situation. They also got the melee Racks at top, which they needed. So, I'm not sure if they'd call it worth. But it, it appears that way because I don't think there's going to be any counter Racks. And they have the, they have the buybacks anyway, so... No real problem for them to die in those cases. And we see the Dagons coming out. Level 5 Dagon picked up straight away from Ritsu. In fact, doesn't leave himself a buyback. And although he can farm it in 2 seconds, still a bit risky to not have that available. And P, he's going to find himself mad, but it's going to be careful. Now Fear's coming in. They might even contest this Roshan. P, he may, have, he may have led his team into a fight they didn't want to go into. Ethical, he's going to try and back off. And P will be the first target. Now Ethical, he's trying to back off. The song comes out from Ritsu. And they will just try to run for their lives. There's a TP out from Ethical, who does get away in time. And Zexy starts throwing out the marches. Crit. He goes in for the call. He finds himself mad. He could go for a kill here. He does get the Dagon kill. No, in fact, it was a laser from Zexy. And Alki... 
Still trying to get out of here, but he's been held in place. Ritsu playing around with Fear at the moment. The stun's coming out from Alki now. And the Dagon's dealing so much damage to Fear. But the Chemical Rage is there now, so he's going to start healing up again. And they've got to back off. There's so much chaos going on in this team fight. And Crit, he's still going, hitting up on a Blade Mold Axe. Now Zexy cops a stun from Alchemist. Ritsu actually takes out Disruptive in the back lines. And he's just being so sneaky. Now he uses the Diffusal Blade and the net as well. And Fear, he's held in place. The, chaos, the Chemical Rage wears off as well. This is the chance to kill him. The Lotus Orb is there. Now the Coddle Mana Leak. And he's going to have a Chemical Rage in a few seconds, but he's got no mana for it. And Fear, I think he's dead here. P, he helps out as well. They get the kill now. Wu's by himself. And this is going to be a team wipe, I think. Zexy, he'll TP out. But Wu, he's by himself. And I think, yep, 100%, he's dead. And that's a team wipe. And they get the gem as well. And that was that that is a big deal for the side of the dire. It's not about the gold or XP anymore. It's about forcing buybacks and uh, and getting some objectives. And they're gonna leave the Roshan for the time being. No point. Go for the tier two and maybe even a tier three. Make what you can out of it and then go for a Roshan if you still have time. Because Roshan's always gonna be there. And it's gonna be a team Dagon coming out here. The only ones not getting him right now are Coddle and, and uh, Rubik. Tinker is TPing in. And they'll start the push. And they are going to go for this tier 3. Now with the marches, it's going to be pretty effective, I think. In fact, they're going into the bot lane. Ritsu, he's trying to split push this. And this is going to be hard to keep up with. But we'll try our best. Oh, the Tagon's coming out onto Wu. And Ritsu, the golem's dropped. He's copying a lot of damage to Chakrams as well. Crit, he actually gets Wu in the background. Now he starts going on to Disruptive. The sleep's there. And there's a second dunk from Crit. And the Golems, they're all over the place. And now Nevermore, he's in trouble. In fact, he's the one chasing the Lotus Orb, helping out quite a lot. P lifts him up. And they're going to try and back off and P. He might get taken down. No, Crit gets the call off again. Now the Dagon's coming out. And what teamwork from this team. They get another kill onto the Timbersaw, who has no buyback available. And although Fi is, is respawning, they might be able to get a Rax here if they really want. The Golem's giving them a headache, though. Oh, Fi stuns himself. And I think they might just back off here. I, I, they, I don't think they know how to push this out. They're looking for a pickoff attempt, and if they can kill Fi here, at least force, force a buyback. From the old man and crit challenging fear to come try the stun comes out now the blade mail is used and that'll be the end of that meanwhile mid lane ritsu is still pushing so pressure coming in from all sides zexy with those rockets coming out now and they find mad with the mana leak and the lasers coming out almost kill him off but he rolls away illusions dealing a hell of a lot of damage from ritsu and and crit he does take out the tier three is going for that range racks, I believe. No, it is the melee, my apologies. Mad comes in, gets called up, the dunk misses, but they still get the kill. And Zexy, he'll TP back bot. And the, two, the the racks mid is still going down from the illusions. And I think they will be able to get at least the melee racks here. Nevermore uses the hex. It, the melee racks does go down a bot. And they could turn around for the mid, which is halfway down. And I think Ritsu might just do so. He's full health at the moment. And there's still two heroes dead. We will be respawning back up. And it looks like they're just going to back off now. Not willing to push the uh, push the pace any further. And that'll be it. Th these team fights are absolutely nuts. I certainly, certainly wasn't expecting the Dagons to start coming out from all the, uh, like, three of the members of the Dire. But it does work. Really effective in bursting down the Timbersaw and the uh, and the and the Alchemist, which is what they need because you can't sit there and try and right click the Alchemist, who's just going to heal it up again. And once you get him low enough, Axe is just going to jump in there, dunk him, and that'll be it. So this is working, but it's still a very close game. Now we see Wu, he's trying to take this Roshan out. Slowly but surely. Isn't the easiest, easiest of tasks for an Abaddon on his, on his lonesome here.
But Fear will be there to help out if necessary, and he is now. See, Disruptive actually picks up a Shadow Blade. Probably used for the sake of being able to escape. Because he gets he keeps getting picked off. And the the Dagons are gonna start coming out from the side of the Radiant now as well, so they're gonna return the favor. Has there been any more uh any more Aghanims provided to the rest of the team? Or any moon shards? Yeah, Earth Spirit has one now. And that'll be it. I think everyone has an Aghanims, yeah. Everyone has an Aghanims, and now we'll probably see some moon shards coming out. And none quite yet. Fear, I think he's still yeah, he's got 10k. Really holding on to that gold. Maybe thinking to himself, I might need another item. They're going to start pushing the pace again. These illusions are so frustrating. And they're pinging down that bot lane. They're all TPing down. And I think they're planning to go through the through the bot and just through that mid there. Crit, if he can find Nevermore here and he does. Zexy with the Dagons, he's going down so fast and the Dunks there as well. That's a very quick kill and he has buyback but they can force a fear. He's forced to use the BKB and Nevermore will buy back and that's what they wanted. Now the sleep comes out from Ritsu and he's probably just going to try and TP away. In fact, TP's on cooldown. This could be dangerous for him. Four staff away. Sleep, cooldown for 35 seconds now. Nevermore still trying to chase something here. The illusion's being very frustrating for the rest of the team. Now the golems drop from Disruptive and he has a refresher, so he'll drop four of them. Ethical gets taken out. Now the stolen golems from P drops another one as well, but Fear, he managed to take out Crit in the background as well. Ritsu, he's still trying to back off, still has no sleep available. And the stun's available onto Fear, and they'll get the kill onto Ritsu, who has no buyback available. Zexy, he'll be the next target, gets kicked away, but he gets taken down at the end of the day. Has the buyback, will use it straight away. Crit also has buyback, but Coddle doesn't, so it's going to be 3v5 at the moment. And... I mean, Crit, I mean, sorry, Ritsu, what's he doing? Oh, the buyback was on cooldown anyway, so it's not really his fault. I thought he hadn't saved gold for it. I'm like, how? But no, he did. Smoke comes out, but it was right in front of Fear. Now the lift, but not really going to do too much. Just slowing them down. Fade Book comes out as well. And they jump mad, tries to get the, uh, tries to get the golem, but... Oh no, they actually did. And P, he's, he's been forced in... To the uh, side he doesn't want to be in. Meanwhile, Crit gets fear somehow. Zexy dealing enough damage for, for uh, Crit to be able to take him out with the dunk. And P's still going through all this. And they're still trying to kill this darn Rubik. Who's just about died. Has no buyback, but... So surprising he managed to last that darn, darn long. Coddle's back up now. Starts throwing out the Illuminates. And Crit finds the call. Illuminate, a lot of damage. About an almost down. In fact, the Aegis is gone on him. Fear, the bouncing, the bouncing lasers is so frustrating. They actually managed to take out Nevermore. Fear, he's trying to man fight this. Zexy will get taken out. Nevermore is calling good, good game more played. And they're, they're going to be okay. It's still 4 versus 3. The slow doing a lot of work from Disruptive. And Crit will find the Warlock. And there should be a kill onto him. In fact, it will be no the stun. And he doesn't get the kill. Fear managed to kill him off. Now he's going to start chasing. And he, yeah, he's going to found a dive this. He wants to kill off this Coddle who has no buyback, I don't think. And there is a Ghost Scepter available onto him. The stun. Oh, he's going to stun himself. And he actually managed to kill himself. And there is Mega Creeps anyway, but... I'm not sure what that really means here. Did he just give away the game? Because he can't buy back. Oh, Fear, what have you done? Woo. He's going to get chased down by Ritsu now. And the net's available again if need be. Now the blinding light. And I don't think they're too worried about this Abaddon, but... If they remember that that, that the uh, the Alki did buy back and it's on cooldown... This is the time they want to get the hell out there and start pushing. And I think Ritsu knows. Because the illusions are out, but... It's just very, very hard when, you go, when you've got Mega Creeps on the way. And here they are. The big boys are coming out. And the line has been drawn... Saying we've got to go right now. And luckily for the side of the Dire, Ritsu, with the, with the illusions, with the uh, illusions and the radiance, he's going to be able to keep the creeps out of the base. 
as long as he micros them properly, which he's been doing all game. Now he gets an Ethereal Blade. Oh, and they're gonna find Disruptive here. P, gonna look for the lift. There's the mana leak straight away. Now the sentries drop just to make sure nobody else is around. No, in fact, the Shadow Blade was used, but too late. Disruptive drops the golems, and he's he's been stolen from P, so he drops them as well. And Disruptive, he will get taken down here. And that's a big kill, and Wu, he's there. He uses the ulti. And now he's netted up. He's in trouble himself now, because he has no ultimate. And he's pretty tanky, though, so he probably will be able to survive this. Top lane looks like Nevermore trying to force the creeps in. But they might be able to get counter megas. No, there is a tier 2 at top, so they're going to have to go for an Ancient. And they won't do so. They're going to they're just going to back off again and start put, start uh, defending. Nevermore, doing the right thing. Getting this lane pushed out at the top lane and forcing the creeps in. And the golems as well doing their job. And they're just going to focus on, like, they've got to make sure these, these lanes are continuously pushed out. Otherwise, they could lose their Ancient. And you can see Zexy's just there trying to defend himself. But the March isn't really doing too much of those creeps anymore. And he's really struggling. In fact, he's, he's got to be careful not to die there. So it's going to be really hard for them because the cause Zexy on the Tinker, he's not available to help out anymore. And they're going to have to make a last stand right now. I don't think they can wait too much longer. And they know that Fear, I don't think he has buyback available. No, he doesn't even have the gold for it, and it's on cooldown. In fact, we'll bring up that buyback status. Ritsu. Chakram's coming out. Crit, he's waiting for it, but the Radiance burn. And Fear might know he's there. And Crit's got to get a massive call off here. And he's got to hurry because it looks like Tinker's really struggling with that with that defense. Actually, he does jump in. And there is a BKB from Fear and Crit. He's in big trouble here, copping a lot of damage. And the Shiver comes out as well. And I think Crit's going to die. No, the Song comes out. He's hexed up. And he's just going to TP out of there and keep the game going. And Cotter will be able to call him back in. But Mad, he goes in. Alchemist is TPing straight onto him. And Ritsu actually takes him out. The chain misses. Now the Golem's dropped. And the call is coming in, and Crit is there, but he might get taken down. He does use the Blade Mail, but he does get taken down at the end of the day. Meanwhile, Nevermore, he's still chasing P and P. He's going to get taken down. In fact, he does. And the next target will be this Keeper of the Light, who's been hexed up. Uses the Blinding Light, but it doesn't matter. And I think that's GG well played. Ritsu can't buy back. Crit can't buy back. P does, and Coddle does. But I'm not sure how long they can defend this without the rest of the team. Their carries and calls are dead. some hate going out to Ritsu, which is fair enough because he's been very cancerous this game. And yeah, I think this is GG well played. They're going to try and defend as best they can, but Fear, he's being smart about this, going for the objectives. And he's going to make sure that they can't, they have no chance. So GG well played to both teams. That was a very exciting game. A lot of things I wasn't expecting to see. I hope you guys enjoyed my casting, whoever's watching. Um, I should say thank you to that shit's beans. I believe his name is. I better just check because I feel rude not checking. I'll be just a second. Because somebody did post this up onto the, onto the Dota 2 caster thread or forum, I should say. Yeah, that shit's beans. Thank you very much for posting this up. I hope you enjoyed the cast. Uh, if anyone watches and, and enjoyed it, consider, you know, following the Twitch channel, following the Twitter, and uh, subscribing to YouTube to show a bit of support. Otherwise, if you had anything, like any criticism, or you didn't like the way I casted, feel free to let me know, because I am trying to improve. Otherwise, guys, it's been Mike Phoenix. I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, you guys have a great day ahead.